Hello, good evening. Good evening, everyone. How are you? Hi. Hi, how are you? How are you, Liliana? How are you, Rufino? Luis, Marisela, Jenny, Patricia. Who else? Only nine people. Oh, Crisia, Marisela, Jenny. Who else? Okay, we're going to wait for the rest. How was your day? How are you? you? Did you have a good day? Liliana, did you have a good day? So, so, because so, so. I had to go to the, to the site. And as you know, I really love working from home, not going on site. But anyway, it was a tired day. But mm -hmm. at the end, it was good. Okay, it was a tiring day, but it was good, right? Okay, very good. And Rufino, how are you? How was your day, Rufino? Uh, um, my day is, uh, is good in the, in the first hours. The first hours? Mm -hmm. And the last hour, uh, I, I get, 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 it. I gave headache. Mm -hmm. I a headache. A headache. Uh, I, I think, I think, I, I don't, I don't drink my, <clears throat> my, my, coffee, my uh, portion of coffee. So you needed uh, a cup of coffee. Yeah. Okay, uh, and I think. I did, I did a uh, caffeine. <laughs> caffeine, okay, and, but you don't have the headache anymore. A little bit. A little bit, a little I bit have of it. a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, probably you, you, um, you will get better soon with a little bit of, of coffee, right? Probably. And Luis Enriquez, how was your day, Luis Enriquez? <laughs> Even so, uh, very hot. very yeah. hot, right? Yes, the weather is crazy right now nowadays. It was yeah. really hot. Lot, yes, but did you have traffic. a good day? A lot of traffic. Yes, under the sun, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah, okay. Very good. So uh, we are going to begin the class right now. Uh, we are going to have a little review. And we are going to continue with the present perfect. And today we are going to have a new topic, okay? So we are just going to review the previous class. Let's see here. Yesterday we were talking about the present perfect, right? And the simple past. How do we use the present perfect? We use it with a past events, recent past events, unfinished states. And also we were able to practice it with negative statements, affirmative statements, also uh, questions, right? Have you ever been to America? No, I never been to America. Also we use the usage of different words like for, since, never, yet, and ever right for questions uh, we had a conversation also and also we talked about like uh, different activities that we have done different experiences right did you do the homework people yes teacher yes what was the homework about um, um the first someone who has traveled to another country. Yes, um, you need to find someone who my, has traveled to another country, who has met someone daughter, famous. Uh, Your yes. daughter traveled to another country? So, yes, my daughter traveled to USA this okay. uh, Monday. This business. Monday for business. And return the next uh, Monday. Too. Okay, she will return next Monday. So you're not going to miss her. Mm -hmm. uh, you are not going to miss her because she will come back next Monday. Next Monday? Yes, next Monday. Yes. Yes, right. Yes, she's going to come back next Monday. Did she you can... find someone else, like someone who has met someone famous 
someone who had an exotic pet, someone who has born in another country, someone who has cried at the end of a movie. And uh, some, some, someone who has met someone famous, famous. Okay, my so ex college, my ex college uh, at the work met the soccer player Bautistuta last week. Last uh, week, last week uh, when she come come to El Salvador. Ah, uh -huh. uh, trajo, eh? and she 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 meeting she have meeting with him. Okay, she met Batistuta. She, yeah. he, he is from Argentina, right? Yes. Argentina. And he was he was here in El Salvador. Um, it's a promotion of La Curacao. Ah, oh, yeah, and she won that like the last, the last week. And she won that contest. Mm. No, she won I, the I promotion. I don't know, teacher. <laughs> I only uh, uh, watch in the TV. Uh huh. Okay, so you watch it on the TV and you say, uh, yeah. you said, that's my friend. Yes, yes. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, very good. So you have someone who has met someone famous and your daughter, right? Who traveled yes. to another country. Very yes. good, very good. Thank you, Luis. Um, another person who wants to participate, someone that you have found. They did something or had a different experience or any other experience. Alguien más que quiera participar? Me, teacher. Me. Maricela. Yes, teacher. Okay, Maricela. Um, what kind of person did you find? Um, Someone who has traveled um, a, uh, another country or what kind of person? Uh, my sister was born in the United States. Mm -hmm. and now he is 26 years uh, live there. Mm -hmm. So your your sister or your brother? My sister. Your sister. So she uh, she was born in the United States. And she is. Is she there? Is she still? Twenty-five years. She's 25 years old and she's still there. She's still living in the United States. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, have you visited her? No, not yet. No, not yet. So you have never visited. She she comes here to El Salvador. Yes. Okay. The last year. Last year she came. Yes. Did you visit uh, any other place from El Salvador? Um, no. No, she just visited your house? She just visited you? Yes. Okay, and do you get along with your sister? What? Do you get along with your sister? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, very good. What is the name of your sister? Sorry, Maricela. Sorry? What is the name of your sister? Iris. Iris. Okay, very good. Very good. So your sister was born in another country. Uh, did you find someone else like had a different experience? Uh, my mother mm -hmm. traveled, traveled to the United States. Oh, your mother traveled to, to the United yes. States. Okay, very good. She visited your sister, Iris. Yes. Okay, very good. But you have never traveled to the United States, right? No. Okay, very good, very good. So you found two, right? Another a person who traveled to another country mm -hmm. and a person who was born in another country. Now another volunteer, please, Natalia, right? And then Liliana. Okay, Natalia first and then Liliana. Go ahead, Natalia. Yes, uh, my friend has traveled to Turkey on April. She left with her husband. He was born there. And she told me uh, about uh, Istanbul. Uh, she thought uh, Istanbul is a city. Um, it's a city. Conservador. 
es, es, is it? No es, no es tan conservador. It's not, Istanbul is not. People, uh -huh. the, the women are in short and, mm -hmm. and pants. And I I saw that the women only use a uh, dress, but in this case, it's not, it's not true. Uh, some women, uh, they use a uh, short and pants too. Shorts and pants, so it's not as um, conservative as, as we yes. thought it was, okay. And what is the the name of the country? Istanbul. Ah, no, it's Turkey. Turkey. How do you say? And... Okay, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's all. But she visited Istanbul. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Istanbul is the capital, right? No, Ankara is the capital. But okay. Istanbul is a famous city. A famous city. city. It's a famous yes. city. Okay, very good. And I heard I've heard that Tur Tur well, Turkey is in, in Spanish, right? But in English is Turkey, right? Turkey, okay. Yeah, but Thank I think you, that teacher. they have they have changed the name because they don't like to be called Turkey, Tur Turkey. Like they they change it to Turkey and they will be called in that way in every language. That's what I heard, but oh. I didn't know. Okay. Okay, very good. But uh, how, did you find someone else who had a different experience? Not to share. No, just <laughs> your friend who traveled to Turkey. Yes, my friend, yeah, yes. Istanbul, and it's not very conservative. It's because her, her husband is from Tur Turkey, right? Tur Turkey. Yes, he was born there. He was born there, okay. Very good, thank you, Natalia. Now, okay, Liliana, go ahead with your homework. Uh, yes, I found someone who has traveled to another country. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, it's my mom because in 2016, she went to Panama mm -hmm. uh, with a friend. And basically, it was a good experience for her because it was the first time that she traveled. So she really enjoyed the trip. Uh, she was at Panama for 15 days. Well, basically two weeks. And she went um, to many places around there, like El Canal de Panama and other places right there. And it was pretty good for her. And she took a lot of pictures. And something sad is that I couldn't go with her because that year I was at my first year at the university and I had important evaluations. So I was like, oh my God, why? But, but hopefully in the future, I can travel with her uh, to Panama because she said that it's a beautiful country. So I really want to go there. <laughs> okay, very good. Yes, in Panama is, uh, the, well, actually the capital is a, bit, a really big city, right? It's, it's totally yes. different. It's, yes, hopefully you will be able to travel <laughs> with your mom and visit all yes. the places. Okay, yes. we have also Levy. Levy, it, Tell me about your homework, Levy. Natalia fue primero. Ella tenía levantada la mano. But I guess Natalia already participated, right? You already participated, right, Natalia? Yes, oh, no. teacher. I'm yes. sorry. Yes, you didn't. Yes, because she was talking about her her friend that went to Tur Turkey, Turkey. Yes, yes. Sure. Yes, exactly. So you can go ahead, Levy. Okay, good evening, everyone. The person that I asked to, he has ever been in another country was my father. He told me that every weekend he go to Guatemala because he's working in a musical group and every weekend he has to travel to Guatemala and and sing with the group and he visited a, a different city every every weekend. 
Okay, so every weekend he has to travel to Guatemala because he was like in a band. Yes. Okay, and he has to travel like every weekend to Guatemala? Yes, every weekend. And is he still traveling to Guatemala or not anymore? Is he still traveling? Is he still going to Guatemala or not anymore? It was like a long time ago. Levy, are you there? We were not able to hear you. Okay. Okay, no problem. Okay, yes. Okay, thank you, Levy, for your participation. So his father used to go, or he had gone, he has traveled to Guatemala. He was in a band, and for that reason, he visited different uh, dif different places, different cities from Guatemala. Okay, very good. Uh, do we have another volunteer, another person who wants to share their homework? Another person, we have still Natalia, we have Rufino, Estela. We have Jenny, Tatiana, Olivia, Paola, Hugo, Griselda, yeah, Carla. Yeah, I can't teacher. Okay, so Astrid. Okay, go ahead, Astrid. Mm, barely. Can you hear me now? Yeah, it's better. Yeah, it's better. Okay. I found someone who traveled to another country. I found to my mother and my old sister. My mother traveled to Canada and my old sister to the United States, Dominican Republic, Costa Rica, Honduras. And in the other one, someone who has met someone Facebook. I have a friend that met a Facebook person, but I don't know if that comes because he's from the social network. And he René Batillesos. Oh, okay. <laughs> and someone who had an exotic vet. I don't know anyone that has an exotic vet. And in the other, someone who has born in another country, I have some something that, that was born in the United States. And someone who has born in 1940, I don't know any person who has born in that year, but the closest was my paternal grandfather mm -hmm. that was born in 1945. Mm -hmm. And in the last one, someone, some friend that uh, plays any instrument. Uh, I have some friends that who have learned to play instruments, some of them continue to do so, but others not. Okay, very good, very good. Very very complete homework, right? She she mentioned her mother and her older sister that they have traveled to different countries, right? Canada, and you mentioned other countries, right? Okay, very good. And she didn't meet someone who had an exotic pet. Also, her grandparents, like from, um, he was born in 1945, and other friends who played an instrument. Now, Hugo, uh, we are going with you right now with your homework. Tell me about your homework, Hugo. And then Rufino. Right. Can you hear me, teacher? Yes. All right. Well, my brother, my brother went to my my older brother went to Canada the last the last month. Well, I don't know why, but maybe because he's preparing a great a great business with a partner because he's an he's a great hacking. Well, maybe they are preparing a a great a great business with with other partners. Well, they went twice a month, the last month. Okay, very good. So your older brother went to Canada. Okay. And have you traveled to another country, Hugo, or not yet? Yeah, yeah. Which country have you visited? United States. 
the United States. Uh, when did you go there? Well, the last time it was the last month. Last month? And yes. June? Yes, exactly. Okay, and what do you do there? Why did you visit United States? To visit a family uh, or? No, no, Joe, I spend my, I spend my cash. To spend your cash. Okay, so you went there to buy something. No, just, mm, just enjoy. Okay, okay, just enjoy, just visiting places. Okay, very good, very good. Thank you, Hugo. And now we are going to with Rufino. Okay, tell me about your homework, Rufino. Okay, um, I, I know Patty. Patty is my friend. Mm -hmm. who, who has traveled to, uh, to Germany, mm -hmm. uh, Germany and to Costa Marfil. Uh, I know uh, Algin, uh, uh, is my friend too, uh, Oven. Mm -hmm. He has uh, he has met with Nayib Bukele. Oh, he he knows uh, Nayib Bukele. President. The current uh -huh. president, right, from uh, El Salvador. Uh, yeah. Uh, in my my daughter, my daughter has uh, has in moment uh, uh, a domestic mouse, an exotic pet. Ah, uh, exotic domestic. pet. So she has an, a, a, a mouse, a domestic mouse. Domestic domestic mouse. Uh, it's, uh, uh, little little mouse uh, white. It's white. Domestic. Uh -huh. uh, my my wife. My wife was born in Honduras. Mm -hmm. After it came back in Salvador. Okay. And I investigate mm -hmm. who was born in 1940. Uh, in my, my in my investigation, uh, I I found I I found um, Carlos Slim was born in 1940. Carlos um, Slim, okay. In, in last one, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. I uh, I don't I don't have time for the, the last one. Okay, you didn't have time for the last one. She don't know anyone who can play an instrument. Okay, very good. So uh, your friends, uh, they have visited. Uh, I didn't know how to say that in English, just in, in, in French, because I think that they, they speak uh, French, right? Uh, the coast, Ivory Coast, right? Costa de Marfil. Costa de Marfil, yes. Yes, and also your friend knows Na Nayib Bukele. Do you know Nayib Bukele or you have never seen him in person? Uh, yeah, my friend Ovel. Just is, your friend. Uh, has met, has met with Nayib Bukele. Me, I don't meet. <laughs> you haven't I, met him. Okay, okay, very good. Thank you, Rufino. Thank you for all the people who you have investigated. And now we're going with Jenny. Tell me about your homework, Jenny. About uh, find someone who can play an instrument. Mm -hmm. I have a friend who is a pianist. A pianist. A pianist. When he was live in El Salvador, he was assistant director in the National Choir or, or Choir. Uh, recently, they did a, a report in Channel 4, and he has had many international awards, and he writes uh, letter, letter and, mu and music for the orchestra. Okay, very good. So he, he is famous also because he's a famous musician, right? Uh, in in the Salvador, I don't know is famous, but he is uh, reconocido in the ámbito de ese tipo de música. 
Oh, yes, yes, I imagine that it is well known. See, sí, his name is Juan Carlos Guerra, and you can find in YouTube, uh, he, he have many, many videos. Many videos, okay, we will look for it, okay? Okay, did you find someone else, like someone who had an exotic pet or someone who had, was born in another country? Well, no, I don't know. Okay, just someone who knows how to play an instrument and is your friend, right? Yes. Yeah, who is a pianist, okay. Very okay. good. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you for your participation. Now we have Griselda. Go ahead, Griselda. Good night, teacher. Uh, my homework. Uh, in film, someone who has traveled to another country, mm -hmm. and my friend was traveled to Italy, mm -hmm. and film, someone who has met someone famous, uh, my neighbor met someone famous, uh, she has met Marcos Witt, Mm -hmm. And continue, continue, find someone who has had an exotic pet. Um, I have an exotic pet. I have an iguana uh, for one year. Uh, este, se me perdió. <laughs> se escapó. <laughs> yes. Se escapó en el jardín. <laughs> In the garden, in garden. Um, continue. Uh, find someone who has born in another country. My uncle was born in Canada. Mm -hmm. uh, find someone who has born in 1940. My grandmother was born in 1940. Your grandmother. Uh, mm -hmm. Grandmother, uh, okay. Find someone who who can play in an instrument. My daughter is learning to play the piano. Okay, very good, very good. So uh, also you had <clears throat> an Iwana Lisa, right? Yeah. But they got lost. Actually, a friend of mine also had an Iwana as a pet. But also, uh, this is one that got lost. Uh, probably they don't know how to go back to to the house, right? No, uh, uh, only uh, only cat uh, eating. Yes, uh, to eat, right? Yes, because okay. one as they can eat leaves and things like that, right? But cats they okay. need to return, and also dogs, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Very good, Griselda. <laughs> Thank you mm -hmm. for your participation. And you investigated mm -hmm. all of the people uh, about the homework. Uh, do we have another participant, Olivia, and then Estela? Okay, Olivia, go ahead. Good evening. Good evening. Find um, who has traveled to another country. Mm -hmm. I want to travel to another country to visit my brother and my nephew. They have been in the United States since uh, 2000. He has only oh, una vez al país. Uh, once, uh -huh. once, una vez. Once. Um, uh, because he, he has six children. Six um, children. They are um and they all want to come okay um, sometimes difficult also my son wants to go uh, visit Walt Disney Walt Disney okay yes and did you find someone else like someone who has met someone famous or someone who had an exotic pet uh, he lives in, in Carolina del Norte. Okay, is it your your brother or your sister? Who lives in Carolina del Norte, North Carolina? Uh, my brother. Your brother, right? 
he has six children, right? Yes, sir. Okay, very good. Hopefully you will be able to travel one day with your son and you will visit uh, Disney World, right? That's that's a very, yes. a very good experience, hopefully. Thank you, Olivia. Now we have Estella, I guess, right? Uh, Estella, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Stella. Elias, my boyfriend's brother, has played the piano, played the piano since he was a little. Mm -hmm. They belong to a prize minister for 70 years. Okay. That's it? <laughs> okay, very good. So your brother, uh, he he learned how to play the piano since he was a little kid. Yes. Have you learned to play any instrument, Stella? Yes, and um, padrilla. Sorry, what do you, what 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 instrument do you play? Padrilla, piano, guitarra, bajo. You, you can play all of that, bass, drums, guitar. Uh, sí. Yes. Todo eso sí. Oh, you're very, very talented. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I have only played flute. Flute. Uh, but, 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 uh -huh. but I like to uh, learn to uh, play the uh, piano. Okay. Okay, probably one yeah. day you will be able to play the piano since you are able to play different instruments. So that's that's great, Estela. Thank you very much for your participation. Do we have any other volunteer or uh, that's it? Another volunteer? Me, teacher. Who said me? Paola, right? Yes. Okay, Paola, go ahead. My uncle traveled to the United States. Mm -hmm. uh, my best friend, me to Carol G. Mm -hmm. And my neighbor had has a pet squirrel. Uh, squirrel, uh huh. Squirrel, uh huh. And my cousin uh, was born in the USA. Mm -hmm. And my grandmother was born in nineteen for nineteen forty. My brother has been playing the guitar. Okay, my brother, you, your brother knows how to play the guitar. He learned how to play the guitar. Yes. Okay, very good. So thank you very much, Paola, for your participation. Do we have someone else? Or that's it? No more volunteers. Now it seems that we, everything's clear, right? Okay, so thank you very much for the volunteers. Uh, you have uh, you have done it very well because you have used the present perfect in the simple past. Um, also, you have been using the uh, present perfect continuous, right? He has been playing, he has been doing this. Uh, so that is the present perfect continuous. So we use it in a different way, so, but in the future, we are going to know how to use it in, in future classes. Now, the simple past and present, present perfect, we already know how to use it, right? For activities or things that we did in the past, some things we know exactly what, where, where they happen or when they happen. And also um, something that is still relevant, right? With the present perfect. So we know how to combine it right now and how to express ourselves. Now, this was like just the the way that you did it. Actually, someone, I guess that in your group, right? Someone sent the, the, the picture of the homework and they were writing Cuscatan Singh as a country, right? But Cuscatan Singh is not a, a country, it's a city, right? But you did it very well. And the person who sent the picture, so it was really good. And also you, you use this kind of sentences, I found out. You, you can use this expression, sorry. I found out, o encontré, o averigué, verdad? I found out that Roger has never driven a car, for example. Uh, also, did you know that Martha had played piano since she was six? And if you didn't find anyone, you also can use, I didn't find anyone who has ridden a horse, okay? So uh, you can use this vocabulary also.
today we are going to finish section today we are going to finish section four okay so um this will be the the class for today the topics for today and tomorrow we are going to have something different right because you already you already know how to uh, use the tenses you have vocabulary so what you have to do is just to practice because you already have the knowledge so this is the the objective for for this class sequence adverbs sequence adverbs are used to help describe a progression of events often used in recipes or instructions sequence adverbs such as first then next after that and finally contain information about the order of actions and create natural transitions in writing. In this lesson from English teacher Joe Sanz, who's the one in the platform, practice describing recipes in English using sequence adverbs. This lesson includes an English oral comprehension exercise. We also have a comprehension exercise. If it is possible, we are going to do it, right? Because I'm, I'm not sure uh if we are able to to hear it here or if you have to hear it um individually but we are going to to check that later so uh we are we are going to review the um, vocabulary for food right for food uh how do you call this kind of food i guess that probably you will be able to see it better in that way so how do you call this this food what is this Meat. meat meat right and the other one next to it the white one eggs eggs Ex exactly how do you say huevo frito fried eggs fried eggs fried is how you write it right fried is how you write it but it's fried eggs what do we have there next to the meat what do we have here fish fish, fish. fish right fish and here in the, on the corner, shrimps, shrimps, shrimps. 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 and shrimps. below, banana, banana, banana. and next to the banana, chicken, chicken, chicken right, and chicken what are, fried, chicken, fried chicken, fried chicken, fried, fried, fried chicken. chicken, actually this is like an, uh, it, it was done in an oven, right, like a KFC, or KFC, yes, yes, exactly, uh, this one. What are these? Because I don't, I don't, I cannot recognize this picture. What are these for you? Egg. It's a vegetable. Eggs. Eggplant. Egg, egg, Eggplant. Eggplants. Yeah, probably they are. Yes, they are eggplants, right? They are cooked. Yes, exactly, eggplants. And next one, this one, the the purple ones. Onions. 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 And this one? Potatoes. Potatoes, right? Potatoes. Very good. Very good. Now, um, do you know how to prepare all of this food? Do you know how to prepare a fried egg? Do you know how to prepare a fried egg? How to cook a fried egg? Omelette. Yeah, om do you know how to prepare an omelette? Yes. How do you prepare an omelet or how do you prepare a fried egg? What are the steps? ¿Cuáles son los pasos para preparar un huevo frito o un omelet? What are the steps? What do we do first? Don't you know how to prepare it? Yes. Yes. Who knows how to prepare a fried egg? ¿Quién sabe cómo preparar un huevo frito? Who knows? Jenny, do you know? All we know. Yes, I know. It's play. We, we don't explain. Yes, you have to explain it. You have to explain it. How, how do you prepare a, a fried egg? First, what do you have to, what do you need to prepare a fried egg? First, first put uh, to a pan uh, Someone. Yes, we you need a pan, right? You need a pine and also what else? Put some some oil. Oil, exactly. Oil and what else? An egg, broke, right? Broke, uh, broke the egg. You need to break the egg and then break tomato into the pan. You huh? need to put it into the pan and the oil. 
what happened with the oil? You need to put it uh, on the on the egg. Uh, scramble. First, you need to uh, put the oil right, and then you need to put the the egg, and then you fry it right. Do you put salt? Do you add salt to to your salt to your egg? Le ponen sal al huevo frito, no le ponen sal. Yes. Yes, right. Yes, so, sometimes, some people don't. Some people don't do it. And then once you put it on on the dish on the plate, uh, do you add ketchup, ketchup to it? No. No. Just like that. Just with yeah. beans. Some people eat the egg with mayonnaise. They like it with mayonnaise, like Friday oh. with mayonnaise. <laughs> But some people, in some people, they just add some ketchup. But it depends, right, on what you like to eat. <laughs> very good. Very good. Now, that's what we are going to study. Like, how can we say these steps to follow instructions, right? Because when we prepare food, we need to follow instructions. So, for example, this is a recipe. Receta, right? Recipe. For example, at the peanut butter Elvis peanut butter and banana sandwich. First, you have to mix the peanut butter and mashed bananas together. So mash the bananas, right? Then lightly toast the slices of the bread. Next, spread the peanut butter and banana mixture on the toast. After that, close the sandwich and put it in a pan with melted butter. And finally, fry the bread until it's brown on both sides. Okay, that's a recipe, how you prepare the Elvis peanut butter and banana sandwich, okay? So uh, do you have like a favorite recipe that you do, like you prepare? Tienen alguna receta favorita que preparen? No, like I don't know if you can prepare like pizza or beans or a beverage, like I don't know, or chata, cebada. Do you know how to prepare it? Or lemonade or coffee? Do you have any something that you like just, to prepare? Just milk with cereal. <laughs> just, just milk with cereal. Yeah, but some people add some things, extra things, right? Like, for example, raisins or cinnamon or vanilla, right? You can add all of that yeah. to the cereal if you want to change the flavor. So you, we are going to practice a little bit of that if it is possible, okay? But first, an adverb. Do you know what an adverb is? Because we have studied um, nouns, we have studied adjectives, and now we are going to study adverbs because we are going to study sequence adverbs. An adverb, is a word belonging to one of the major form classes in any of numer numerous languages, typically serving as a modifier of a verb. O sea, que modifican, los adverbios modifican verbos, ¿verdad? Also, adjectives, another adverb, a preposition, a phrase, a clause, a sentence, it depends. It depends how, where do we put the adverb and what is going to modify. It depends de que esté modificando, pero puede modificar varias cosas, ¿verdad? Puede modificar un verbo, puede modificar un adjetivo, otro adverbio, etc. And we have a lot of different kind of uh, adverbs. We have uh, adverbs of manner or quality, adverbs of place, adverbs of time, degree, number, cause, opposition, affirmation, denial. We have different kind of adverbs. English also serving to connect and to express comment on a class content. So uh, now we are going to use, or we are going to study just one type, sequence adverbs, okay? That's what we are going to study. And for sequence adverbs, we have these words first, then, next, after that, and finally, what does it mean first? ¿Qué significa first? Comienzo. Primero. 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 Yeah, the beginning, right? Yes, exactly. The then? Después. Luego. 
Luego, ajá, luego, después, next. Next. Después, después ¿verdad? Es similar, similar. After that. Después de eso. Después de después eso. De. Uh -huh, exactly. And finally. Finalmente. Finalmente. Finally, finalmente. So, that's finally, right? It says here, sequence adverbs are used to describe the order in which two or more actions happens. Son para el orden, ¿verdad? Para describir qué va primero, qué va después. So, to follow steps. Sequence adverbs include first, then, I'm sorry, first, next, then, and finally. If you want to make an omelet, you need to break the eggs first. Next, you should hit the butter pan, eh, eh, the butter in a pan, etc. right? So, we use a comma after first, next, then, and finally, después de usar, cuando están escribiendo, después de usar el sequence adverb, ponemos coma, porque son adverbios. The first, coma, and then you uh, describe the steps, right? When they introduce the sentence, that describes the action. Only when they introduce the sentence, right? And we have examples. Tenemos ejemplos, ¿verdad? First, for an action that happens before any other. Uh, we can also use first at the end of the sentence. I have a lot of work to do. First, I will make a cup of tea. Or I can say, I will make a cup of tea first. Okay, so that's okay. If we have it at the beginning, we use a comma. And at the end, we don't use the comma. Next and then, and also after that, uh, can both be used for an action that happens after another action, but we usually use it like that, like next, then, and after that. Next is for an action that happens immediately after another action, or as soon as possible. We can also use next at the end of the sentence. Los adverbios también se pueden usar al final de la oración, pero nosotros lo vamos a usar al principio para describir algo. For example, I went to Bolivia on holiday. Next, I want to go to Brazil. Or, I'm eating breakfast right now. I will clean the kitchen next. So that's it, right? And then, or after that, is like very similar, right? For an action that happens after another action, if it is not immediately, we can use and then, or we can use also after that, right? Without a comma. Sarah is doing her degree. Then, she wants to be a lawyer. Sarah will probably not be a lawyer immediately after she gets her degree. They went shopping in the morning and then they went to the zoo. If we use and then, we don't use a comma, just at the beginning of a sentence, right? And finally, finally is for the action that happens at the end, after any others, uh, or after a long time. We can use finally before the verb without a comma. I worked all evening. Finally, I went to bed at 11 p.m. I worked all evening and I finally went to bed at 11 p.m. Or after five years, I finally sold the house. So finally is to express something that happens at the end, right? And remember, we use just a comma when they introduce a sentence. Do you have any question? Questions, doubts, preguntas, pronunciation question, acerca de pronunciación, del uso, no questions? No, okay, very good. Now, let's see here. We have this exercise. I don't know if we can listen to it because uh, we upload the, the video and I don't know if we have the copyrights for it or not, or if it is needed or not. So I'm going to send you this link to your, to the chat and you can open it, okay? Okay, so you can open the, um, the link and it's a link about an audio, right? I guess that I can play it. I guess I, guess I won't have any problem, but it's about food and mood. Acerca de, de la comida. Because we're talking about food, we are going to listen about food and the mood. How 
uh, food can affect our emotions. Like for example, um, probably I don't know if you have eaten food and you feel more, uh, you feel happier or you feel more relaxed or it wakes you up like coffee, right? For example, Rufino was saying that he had a headache, but he drank a cup of coffee and the headache uh, almost disappeared. So uh, probably food can influence our mood. So this, um, this conversation or actually this audio is about um, different kind of food that can influence us. So probably I can play it. Let me check here if I have it here. And let me know if you are if you are able to hear it, okay? Okay, I will try to play it and let me know if you are able to hear it or not. Just allow me one moment, please. Okay. Can you hear it? Can you hear it or not? No. 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 no? Nothing. Okay. No, so what we are going to do is uh to open the link, right? Because that's why I I I added the the link, so we are going to open it. We go to the link and if you, well, I can read it if you want to. This is, this is the audio. If you want to listen to it, uh, it's just six minutes. Okay. It's not that long. It's not 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And it's about uh, food and how food can influence us. Okay. So this is the vocabulary. Um, the vocabulary here is got. God, what is God? Is your stomach and other organs through which food passes and is digested. So what is God in Spanish? God. God. Mm -hmm. Like intestines, right? Intestines and all the organs inside of your stomach. Anxiety is the fear of worry, right? Fear or worry. Germs. Germs are very small organisms which often cause disease. Fermented is uh, when we talk about food, which is fermented, having gone through a process where sugars are changed into acids and alcohol. Diet, we already uh, talked about diets, the kinds of food and drink eaten by people in an area. And an expression we have is not rocket science. It's not rocket science means it's not difficult to understand. And basically, this conversation is about um, like food, right? They start talking about uh, food and also if, for example, what food makes you happy. For example, ice cream, chocolate, different things, desserts, right? So that kind of food, probably in our brain, we believe that is, uh, it makes us happy. And also they are, are talking about bacteria, something uh, that is called good bacteria. We have it in our, in our stomachs and we have millions, right? And here it says, how many bacteria are there in the human body? 39 million, 39 billion or 39 trillion. You need to listen to the audio and you will know it, okay? So uh, at the end, you are going to find out uh, about that. And during the audio, they talk about a scientist, a researcher from McMaster University in Canada, University College. And they talk about this good germ. And a doctor is interviewed in the audio. This is the doctor, Michael Mosley. And they asked him, what is the best diet? The best diet is the Mediterranean diet, okay? Olive oil oily fish, omega-3, all of that, okay? So this audio is about that. I was going to play, but probably we are going to have some problems, but if you want to, you can listen to it and you can read it at the same time. This is the, 
this is a, I'm going to share it also in the group. So here you just need to click on this icon and you will be able to listen to it. And you will be able to read all of it is here, all of it. So you will be able to understand it, okay? Now, let me see if we can do something else. Let me see here. So this exercise is about that. And actually we were supposed to um, answer this, uh, this answer or actually these questions. Like for example, what was the conversation about? What is the meaning of fermented? What is the name of the doctor who was interviewed? What is the meaning of the following expression? It's not rocket science. And what kind of diet is recommended in the interview? So as an extra activity, you can listen to it, okay? No problem. And you can learn the different uh, the different words, new words, new vocabulary that are expressed in this uh, exercise. For example, depressed, low, have the blues is another expression to say that someone that like you're not feeling very happy, calm, relaxed, happy, secure, tired, stressed, angry, anxious, and nervous. And this is the um, the vocabulary that we learn in the audio. If you want to listen to it, you will have it here, okay? Now, uh, since you don't have questions about uh, grammar or vocabulary, we are going to have an activity, but this activity will be for tomorrow. If you want to, you can turn on your camera. That will be the best way to do this activity. Or if you have any problem or if you have any issues with your camera or if you don't have um, the ingredients, you can let it like that. But you need to say it, right? You need to say uh, the ingredients. So you need to say it at least, right? So what we are going to do is that we are going to prepare a recipe and we are going to try to use sequence adverbs and the vocabulary that we have learned. For example, a sandwich. How do you make a sandwich? And I will ask you, right? What is the recipe that you have prepared? Right? How do you make a sandwich? How do you make a fresh salad? How do you make chirimol, for example? How do you make a cup of coffee, right? And you are going to explain it to me. If it is possible, bring the ingredients. Traigan los ingredientes con ustedes y lo hacen ahí, ¿verdad? No vayan a, 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 a cometer un accidente por estar queriendo cocinar en frente de, de la cámara o algo, no vayan a botar nada ni nada líquido, pero traten de hacerlo, porque así vamos a poder ver y ustedes van a explicar. Va a ser una como presentación. And, for example, it has to be something simple. Tiene que ser algo sencillo, algo fácil. For example, how do you make a fruit salad? And you are going to bring the ingredients, right? And you are going to say, first, wash the fruit and peel it. And you are going to do the mimic, right? If you have washed it already and you have peeled all the, all the fruits, then cut the fruit into small pieces. Next, put the fruit on a bowl and you will put it on a bowl. And after that, add some honey or yogurt on the fruit. And finally, enjoy a delicious fruit salad. And that's it. That's what you are going to do. But you are you try you will try to do it with the, the ingredients, right? With the, the real ingredients. I will do it too. I will prepare something easy, something that I like to eat. And you can prepare cereal, you can prepare coffee, you can prepare any any recipe, but you need to use sequence adverbs, okay? And the vocabulary that we have learned, like from the food vocabulary. Questions? Preguntas de lo que vamos a hacer mañana. No questions? Here. Okay, Luis Urias, what are we going to do tomorrow? ¿Qué vamos a hacer mañana, Mr. Uh, Luis? I make a cup of coffee. <laughs> okay, you will prefer to make a coffee. For example, yes. he will make a cup of coffee. But um, how you? How, what do we need to use? Do we need to use sequence adverbs? Are you going to bring the ingredients? Are you going to prepare it in front of the camera? How, how are we going to prepare it? I'll prepare it uh, first. Uh, uh, put the the water mm -hmm. on the coffee cup, mm -hmm. and next, um, 
medir eh, eh, la tasa de, de, de grano de café. Ajá, ajá, but no, no Spanish. Mañana no vayan a estar okay, en, en okay. español. Sí, Todo yes. eso lo tienen que investigar, ¿verdad? Ok, yes, de, yes. Antes de yeah. venir. ¿Y se vale, se vale traer los ingredientes o no se vale traer los ingredientes, señor Luis, Mr. Luis? Yes, of course. Yes, right, of course. Yes. It would be better for your presentation, yes. right? Yes, if you want to bring... And next, uh, um, finally, I... Mm -hmm. I... I drink my cup of coffee. Exactly. Yeah. And finally, you drink the cup of coffee. That's it, right? So with you're bre going... bread. Yeah, with bread. Semita. Yes. Semita. Semita. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so that's what you're, we are going to do tomorrow, okay? And okay. if you have any problem uh, with the camera, as I already said, si tengo algún problema con la cámara, pues, aunque sea, digan la receta para que la okay. sepamos. Pero yes. the, the perfect situation, la... la, la El, el escenario que yo espero ver es que estén usando sus recetas, que hagan sus recetas, que aunque sean fáciles, puede ser cereal, puede ser, no sé, este minuta, no sé, cualquier cosa, ¿verdad? Okay. So, I will see you tomorrow, and you have homework for tomorrow, and then we are going to have more activities, okay? To finish, I, week I number have, three. I have the problem. Yes. Uh, I I was I was doing the platform and section section five. Mm -hmm. uh, I found uh, uh, the um, illogic answer uh, mm -hmm. in the section uh, five. <coughs> section five. Uh, I don't remember uh, the parts the section. But mm -hmm. uh, I, I, ha I have I have here mm -hmm. uh, the the, pro the 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 problem mm -hmm. uh, one is uh, uh, when we use we we use uh, I wish wish mm -hmm. uh, and the part wish um, and the one is say I don't like my new job. Mm -hmm. I wish a three answer for me. The answer correct is three. It was more fun, but the plan for the answer correct is it were more fun. It's logic yes. for me. Uh, 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 it in a uh, three two. My boyfriend is, isn't in good shape. Mm -hmm. I wish the answer correct for me is he was in good shape, but platform for correct is he were in good shape. Uh, yeah, I understand. I, I understand. Uh, is there is there is there mistake finger finger? Yes, Liliana is saying here in the topic with wish, there are exceptions, right? Do you remember, Rufino, that in normally we use he was, she was, but when we use wish is I wish he were. That is the correct one. I wish he were. I wish it were. Every For all the pronouns, he, she, it is were. When we use wish, solo cuando usamos wish, vamos a usar were para todos. Ah, okay. Thank you, or okay. your, uh, I remember this. Yes, you have to remember, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay, very good. Do you have any other Thank question? You. No questions? Okay, so you have homework for tomorrow. I hope to see you tomorrow with a lot of food and have a good evening, okay? Okay, good evening. Good evening, right. see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. Tomorrow I will burn myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hopefully not. Hopefully not. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye, everybody.